Today is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host. Welcome to The Lone Doctrine, the food for thought exploration station and your place in making today better than yesterday. I hope we are all staying safe and healthy and washing our hands and practicing good hygiene, but more importantly, practicing an awesome mindset. The title of this episode may have already caused some controversy or even made you think, what do they mean by that? The title is Control Less, Receive More. It's a topic I've been exploring for a very long time in my life because, yes, you will hear we are all the creators of our destiny. You'll hear control what you can, release what you can't. You'll hear control your energy because like attracts like, but then you'll hear release and receive. Here at The Lone Doctrine, we explore a wide spectrum of topics to keep us on the right track. And just as I encourage the listeners to stay open, I too have to practice what I preach. The topic for the month is control. I'm still trying to grasp the concept and find where I stand. And I hope as we explore more, you'll find where you stand. Of course, life is ever changing, but hopefully we can make a little more sense out of the whole concept of control or not control. I was introduced to a speaker and an energy seeker of sorts, Abraham Hicks, from a friend of mine. I've been so stuck in my head lately that she insisted I needed to check her out. I am a thought explorer. I explore books, podcasts, seminars, people, and I share my findings with our awesome Lone Doctrine community. This one, I will give a precursor, is a little woo-woo. Not any more woo-woo and weird than I was in the last episode of last month. If you haven't listened, you should. It's a way to practice letting go of control. This might be out there, but stay with me for a moment. There's a concept that was super popular when the book The Secret came out, and it was based on the law of attraction, or sometimes what we refer to as like attracting like. Abraham Hicks dives deep into this concept And before you sign off, bear with me. I am an advocate for finding what works for you. But in order to be our best selves, we must remain open to finding those seeds of greatness. I'm going to just share some quotes from Hicks. And if it interests you, I highly recommend checking her out. These are going to be totally random. So here we go. When you feel healthy and vital and alive and prosperous, you attract more of all those things. Reach for the thought that feels better and allow the natural well-being that is yours. A belief is only a thought I keep thinking. What you think about activates a vibration within you. Look for good things about where you are. And in your state of appreciation, you lift all self-imposed limitations. And all limitations are self-imposed. And you free yourself for the receiving of wonderful things. As you think thoughts that feel good to you, you will be in harmony with who you really are. There are so many different ways of thinking and to some it can seem overwhelming. To me, I think it's fascinating. There is no wrong way or right way. As long as you're not expressing hate or hurting someone, there are so many ways to better our lives. In what way? What step will you take today in this moment to be better in your life? It doesn't have to be an event. It could be just a thought, a change of feeling, or just realizing and being inspired by the world and knowledge around us to keep getting better, to rise up, to lift each other up and make this life the best life. I'll keep it short today and I'll end with some more quotes. Be happy in anticipation of what's coming. The law of attraction is most understood when you see yourself as a magnet getting more and more of the way you feel. There is nothing for you to go back and live over or fix or feel regret about. 
every part of your life has unfolded just right. As you think thoughts that feel good to you, you will be in harmony with who you really are. If there is something you desire and it is not coming to you, it always means the same thing. You are not a vibrational match to your own desire. So if you want bonus episodes and you want to dive even deeper, if you want to hear interviews or even have a chance to be a part of our giveaways, we'd love for you to visit us at patreon.com slash lone doctrine. We're building an awesome community of awesome people because together we are better. Would you be down to help us out? Come and visit us at patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash Lone Doctrine to find out all the details and always remember to keep fighting the good fight. It's a great-